Hello, Jen here celebrating Christmas in May with you guys. This is such a fun series. I am so happy that Moira did this because A, I love Christmas and I have no problem celebrating it any time of year. Um, but B, I really needed the kick in the butt to get some of this Christmas stuff done. I just feel like in the Christmas season, I get so um, caught up in other things that I don't get to really sit down and just scrapbook Christmassy things. And then by the time Christmas is over, uh, we have birthdays and dance and all that other stuff. And so um, sometimes my Christmas gets a little bit neglected, my, my Christmas scrapping. So today what I'm doing for you guys um, it's going to be a bit of a different video because I've got things super sped up, um, which I hope you don't mind, but I got two full spreads in my 2014 um, Project Life album completely done. I just happened to be in December and working on Christmas stuff anyway, so I thought I would go ahead and film it and just kind of give you guys a glimpse into my project life process. I haven't done a project life video in a long time. And when I first started my channel, I did quite a few of them. So I thought it would be kind of fun just for you guys to take a look because I'm a very kind of non fussy project lifer. And especially now that I'm going back and trying to finish up some of my albums that I, I kind of abandoned <laughs> when the new year came along. Um, I find myself just really kind of picking a few little things, maybe like sticking to one collection or sticking to one sticker sheet and trying to finish that whole sticker sheet and spread it throughout my page. Um, but I, I really try not to put too much extra, not extra thought. That makes it sound like I'm not being very conscientious. I totally am, but I just try not to be too fussy. So if things don't, you know, I mean, I think things always turn out really nice and I think they look really pretty, but if things don't match totally perfect, I'm okay with it. I tend to kind of go with my gut quite a bit. So if something catches my eye, I will try to make it work instead of, you know, fussing and then deciding it doesn't work and looking for something else. I go that little extra just to see if I can make it work. I just don't want to have a big kind of long drawn out process that um, makes it so that I'm not getting the cards done quickly and efficiently and, and move on. I really enjoy that feeling of the album being done. And so um, I kind of have my eye on the prize. I keep that as my, my motivation. So you can see here the cards that I'm working with. I already have my pictures put down. Um, even before I started reworking on this album, um, a couple years ago, I had the album pulled out and all the pictures were ready and I just decided I'm gonna go ahead, pick a, a collection of cards, which this just happened to be Stampin' Up. Um, I think this was their one of their Christmas kits that you could get from 2015. Um, so I just pulled it out and without really having any kind of plans for the cards, I just stuck pictures onto cards and stuck them into the pockets. So that much was done for me, which I think really makes this easy because all I've done here, as you can see, I've pulled out these stickers from Simple Stories and I'm just trying to stick with those. I'm trying to see where they fit. Um, these stickers are kind of interesting in that some of them have a white background, some of them have more of a cream background, and the Stampin' Up! collection is kind of the same way. So I'm mixing and matching. I'm not worrying too much about that kind of stuff. I have those clear little word stickers that uh, I keep pulling out. I'm just trying to get a couple of those on every every card if I can. I don't think I get them on every card, but I get them on almost every card. And I'm really taking the time to make sure that I jot down a few little notes. So instead of having a couple of cards with tons of journaling, I'm just doing a few little notes on each card. I also have these tags that I got. I think they were just like a mixed bag of tags from Michael's, probably 
um, around Christmas time because they seem very kind of festive and they're silver and gold and they're all different shapes. There's a couple different sizes of the actual tag shape and then there's some round ones and some square ones and stuff like that so I pulled out the gold ones and I'm just gonna throw that in in a few places just to have a little bit of sparkle um, and so all of the cards are really simple I just want to have a couple little touches of embellishment like this one I put down the numbers because it's the little stockings that our elves brought for the kids as their um, uh, Christmas advent calendar so I just put um, I think it's number one through nine and here I'm gonna put a little title that says countdown I didn't have a T so I'm using my white uh, chalk marker to go ahead and kind of I turned an exclamation mark into a T and then I put a border around it um, these glittery words also come from um, Stampin' Up! Again, it's like a kit that you could get. So those little circle, these little letter stickers, circle ones, they also come from that kit. I just pulled out as much of those elements as I could. Um, I needed some green letters though, so I went to these tiny type, which work great. Um, so this one says amazing friends. I literally <laughs> try my best to make the words that are on there that I had left work. So, um, you know, you just, it, you just go with the flow. I grab things as they catch my eye. So there's not a ton of thought process to it. And a lot of these pictures are, um, extras anyways because I do do a, a December daily album so I do have one from 2014 um, I still like to do a couple of pages in my project life that are December just because I feel like for me I like to have my albums end at the end of the year so I do like to throw in some of those extra pictures um, I think in my December daily I probably had a picture of the whole family at Kaylin's recital, but here I have Kaylin in her dress in front of the tree. So just little things like that. So it didn't need a ton of journaling or anything. It's just um, that little extra picture. And then things like this. So it says my favorite. So um, I treated myself to some steeped tea and I just took a picture of my order. A friend of mine used to sell it and it my birthday is at the end of November and this is the beginning of December so I think I treated myself to the tea and I didn't really put that in my December daily so it has a place in my project life and I'm just gonna put some more gold there um, that's kind of the thing that I think I probably pay the most attention to is just if I add an element to one side of the page I want to add that same type of element to the other side of the page so that my two uh, layouts always match a little bit they may it might be just that I take the colors from one side and bring them over or in this case all of the cards match because I just did the entire month in one go so all of the cards match but then now just a few of these little elements also match like the gold and these word stickers um, sometimes it might be that the two sides of the page are completely different as far as the the content but maybe I'll use wood veneer and spread it throughout the whole thing or I just like to have little things that kind of kind of tie in so the simple story stickers and those little gold um, foil word stickers and uh, enamel dots I used enamel dots um, yeah so pretty pretty simple and I think most of the pictures so far that you've seen have just been like the beginnings of Christmas because that's what it is so getting the tree up and Kaylin's um, Christmas concert and this is a picture of Kaylin and Francis all snuggled up and watching Christmas shows way back when the boys were so brand new that she was super excited to have little brothers <laughs> that didn't take long to change I mean she loves them but she's also 15 so you know how that goes <laughs> she's she's a really awesome big sister but they annoy her a lot 
this was their first Christmas with us though so um, we took a ton of extra pictures and we just have lots of these like really sweet moments because she was just so so excited to have siblings that she got to share the holiday with I think they were watching um, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas yeah I think that's what they were watching and just like he had never seen it before so it was so such a big deal for him so um so yeah and I do a lot of outlining because I that's just a thing I like to do I feel like when you aren't really sure how to make a card look finished just outlining it can oftentimes have a big impact here's our Christmas tree and a lot of the cards come with some little phrases or titles and stuff already on them so when I was putting my pictures down I tried to take advantage of those if I could um, sometimes they don't work out and sometimes I noticed as I was going through I probably had a reason why I put a certain picture with a certain title and then obviously by now I don't necessarily remember what that reason was so <laughs> there were a few of them that didn't make as much sense to me now as they might have when I originally started doing this trying to do my catch-up <clears throat> These little wood veneer trees also came in that same Stampin' Up! pack. And they're so cute. I really like them. They're, they almost don't feel like wood veneer. It's weird. I know that they are, but they have kind of a weird, smooth feel to them. And here, yes, you can see, like, I didn't really want to do a ton of extra stuff to that card. So I put my little sketchy... Um, border around it and I think that that turned out really nice and because I was using those glittery words I wanted to kind of spread that out between the two pages and I didn't have enough words that really made sense with all of my pictures so I noticed that there was a lot of space around the words where I could punch out some stars so I went ahead and did that and that just means that I can kind of stretch that gold glitter and have it spread across the whole the whole layout and here let's see oh yes I found these <laughs> I found these 3d stickers they may have been given to me actually and it's a train so I'm gonna go ahead and use one here and I do use the other little gingerbread house too um, because of course like I said, when I put one down, I want to try to get at least another one. Um, so that was to document the holiday train that came, which was a bit of a gong show for us. The boys were cold. It was it was quite cold that night and um, super busy and we didn't get very good pictures of it, but it's still in here. So I don't think... I don't think I documented that in De my December daily. Um, I think I actually just put like a family photo of us, maybe even like a van selfie or something. And then I put the crappier photo into my project life. And these are pictures of the weather. Uh, it was, it was super, super cold. This happens quite a bit here. Um, so it was super cold, like minus 40. And then suddenly it shot up to, we had a Chinook probably, and it shot up to like plus, plus 10, plus 13, and uh, just really gorgeous weather. So I wanted to document that. And then on the other side, I was documenting the price of gas. So I do that occasionally. I actually think I don't do that enough. It's one of those things that as you're going through your album, I kind of think to myself, oh, it would have been nice if I had taken a picture of the price of that or if I had captured the way something looked a certain way that, you know, you know it's going to be changing or whatever it might be. So even though this is not Christmassy at all, I Christmased it up and <laughs> documented the, the weather and the gas. And actually it's way cheaper now <laughs> the gas is than it was in 2014 so go figure <laughs> and then for that last card there I threw in some sequins and I just sealed it up with some washi tape but when I go back and take a look at it I'm gonna 
I didn't pull my fuse out to actually fuse it together because these cards fit almost perfectly into the pockets and there is not a lot of room to um, use my fuse tool at the top. So I think I have to just slightly cut down my card just to give me even like a, an eighth of an inch to go ahead and run my fuse tool across the top. So the washi tape will hold it for now. And it doesn't look too bad. I just used like a gold and gold and white one. But I think that's just kind of a fun way. I didn't want to add a ton of embellishment to it. I kind of like that bold red color. And so throwing in some sequins is just like a little fun way to add some some festive glitter, I guess you could say. And I will do a pocket on this side too so that I have the two that match. And so this side here is documenting our trip to Kananaskis. So the whole top row and then one on the one in the middle row is um, all documenting the trip to Mrs. Claus's hotel. That's what the kids called it. A friend of ours actually introduced us to it, and it was just. A really fun Christmassy experience we did it the year before and then having the boys for the first time this Christmas we really wanted to take them to experience it as well and so um, when we got there <laughs> Sebastian he was two locked himself in the bathroom and we couldn't figure out how to get the doors open so we had to call them to come and help us and it turns out that they had done some renovations and the lock was actually faulty so it wasn't his fault or our fault for not being able to figure it out when the door closed it actually locked inadvertently uh, and so once they got it all fixed for us to apologize they gave us milk and cookies for um bedtime every night that we were there we were there for two nights so they gave us milk and cookies and they sent an elf to read to the boys well and Kaylin too but um to read bedtime stories for them so an elf came and knocked on the door and read them bedtime stories before they went to bed and they did a few other things so it was really sweet and we ended up having a a really amazing experience with them um, so that's all those top pictures and there's a picture of Titus in there our sweet old Boston and um, Christmas cards that I had made for that year and what else oh a picture of our house just what our house looked like with the christmas lights up and fox with his first ornament that he ever we ever bought for him to put on our christmas tree and then that last little picture is my nephew with the christmas tree and that is going to get a bunch of sequins and again i'll seal it up with washi tape for now um and go back and kind of figure out how I can fuse it together. And that's it for my two full spreads. So I know this was really sped up and I didn't give you a ton of detail about every single card, but honestly, I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse at how I'm catching up and uh, have a little chat with you guys. So thank you so much for sticking with me all the way through to the end. I know it was a bit of a longer video. You can see here all the pages and cards that I got done. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. There are links down below to everybody else who is celebrating Christmas in May. So please go and click on those links and show them some Christmas love. And until next time, happy scrapping. Bye.